So this is how you will use the rich text editor to embed an assignment, an announcement, um, whatever you need. So first of all, if I go over here to announcements, um, I don't know if we're ever going to get to the point where we can use it like this, but I found this out. If you go ahead and click on announcements, and um, it says new meet link. Well, it will actually, if you use the plug right here, this is the one that you're going to get the apps from. And you, there's, you go to Google Hangouts, it'll actually embed a new meet link for you. Um, so it's retrieving it and there's the new meet link right there. So that could be an announcement that I make to my kids if I have a new meet link. And then I would say, meet me here. Okay. But if I wanted to do an assignment, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave. And I wanted to use that rich text editor to go ahead and embed into my assignment. I'm going to click on the plus sign. Then I'm going to name this test assignment. Okay. I'm going to go right over here to the same plug. Okay. I can go to Canvas Studio. And if I have created videos in the Canvas Studio with questions embedded in, all I have to do is select on one of those and I can go ahead and allow comments and embed that for the kiddos. Okay, so it'll show up right here. And that's a neat feature. Also, let's say that I wanted to go back to the plug and I had downloaded something to the comments. And you notice that it only allows for um, the embeddable types. I can do a document, a video, an audio, or an image. Well, I have this image right here. And let's say I wanted to take the kids to take this image and maybe uh, elicit their prior knowledge. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Sorry. I wanted to elicit prior knowledge. So I would go ahead and then I can embed more than one thing at once. I'm going to click a little. I'm going to go back to the plug up here. And this time I'm going to go to my LTI, which is part of my Google Drive. And this is the one where it embeds a copy for every kid. So I'm going to click on that. Sorry, my internet's a little slow. And I'm going to look for the document that goes with the Newton's Law picture, which is the 321. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that also. It, it should make a copy for every kid. And so I have this assignment right here. The kids are going to do the 321, and then they can turn that in. Or um, let's go and see what else we can do with it. I'm going to click on the plug. And I'm going to go to YouTube, the YouTube studio. Well, it actually takes you to your drive and it actually, come on, let me try it again. It actually takes you to the plug and then I'm going to click on YouTube and hope it works this time. My internet's a little sketchy. Okay, let's try it a third time. And third time has to be the charm, right? Okay, so we're going to click on YouTube for schools. And uh, okay, so I can actually uh, browse on YouTube EDU, or I can go to my drive and upload a video. So this rich text editor has a lot of things, features it can do. And I'm going to show you in the next video how it looks um, once you make the assignment.